This video is going to be about performance of visual scripting versus C sharp. There's going to be a lot of numbers and data that are going to be shown here, but hopefully this information is going to be really helpful and it's going to help you making important decisions in your games. So let's get started. So right here, I have a scene that I've just generated. So this is kind of a terrain that you would see in Minecraft. In here, I have four chunks. So four meshes make up this terrain right here. Each chunk is actually 30 by 30 and 10 in height. That's the dimension of each chunk. And they are procedurally generated. So to generate this, I have a timer that it took. So 0 0.05 seconds to generate this with C sharp. Now I'll show a little bit of the program behind this and uh, the visual scripting version of it as well. But for tasks like these, like procedural generation, that's where you will start seeing the big difference between C sharp and visual scripting. Well, at least where you'll start noticing it. If you want, you can actually pause the video and make your guess. How much slower do you think uh, visual scripting is versus C sharp? So generating the same size chunks and four chunks. You can also see what people think about how slow visual scripting would be for this. And let's actually run the same thing with visual scripting. So I'm going to switch to my visual scripting program and run it. So right here, here's the first chunk. There's the second one, third one and a fourth one. So the terrain looks a little bit different because I have some different parameters set for it. And right here, you can see that it took actually nine seconds. The number can vary from time to time. But if you take a calculator and let's say 9.8 divided by 0 0.054, for the task that I just did here, visual scripting is 168 times slower. For me, it was really important to figure out what's the cause of it so that I can actually show you guys how to use visual scripting efficiently and making your games work smoother. And what are some of the things to avoid making with visual scripting? Now, like I mentioned, this uh, generation, it's very heavy on uh, calculations because all of these points are procedurally generated and it all adds up for each point that you actually calculate. Now with C sharp, we can actually generate a bigger map and let's do that. So I'm going to switch to C sharp and let's generate 100 times bigger map and see how much time. So right here it took 4.9 and we can generate another one. This one took a little bit less to generate to figure out what was actually causing that slowness in visual scripting. I made several tests, but before we take a look at those tests, let's go to the editor and run the same thing. In the editor for C sharp, it's roughly taken about the same time to generate this. But if we switch to visual scripting in the editor, it is actually going to generate even slower than it did in the build version. So the version that I showed before that was actually build version and in the editor is actually running twice slower than in the build version. So you do get more performance after you build the game. A quick look into the program that is actually running all of that. So right here I have the graph that is generating that map. And you can see that there's a lot of for loops that I have here. And that's not all of the scripts. So there's more of the generation part of the mesh that I have right here. So and again, there's a lot of for loops and for each loops, a lot of iteration that has to go through to create that graph that you see. So because of that, I decided to test out and see which operations actually take longer. And right here, I have a list of tests that I ran. So just running empty for loop and running additions, multiplication and so on. I'm going to run the test right now. The tests are going to be run on 100,000 operations and let's run it. And right here for for loops, you can see that it took 0.14 seconds to run those for loops. And then you can take a look at the other ones as well. So addition took three times more than that. Multiplication about the same as addition parley noise. That's where we're starting seeing bigger numbers. So this actually took 10 times longer to run than a for loop. Random number is about the same as parley noise. 
and then some variable operations. So we're looking about the same number as actually addition and multiplication. And that kind of makes sense because when you're adding and multiplying, you are also dealing with variables. That's probably where the big loss of time is, is actually setting those variables and how Visual Script is actually handling the variables. Then uh, I have set array items. Arrays are actually not implemented in Visual Scripting by default, but it is in C-sharp and we'll take a look at those tests in a bit. But for the if statements, you can see that it's actually running about the same speed as the addition and multiplications. So probably also because of the variable comparisons and stuff like that. Now, the very last one is a call to C-sharp. So this is if you have any script that you made in C-sharp and you want to actually call those scripts. It took one second to run that. It's a little bit more than twice slower than adding in multiplication or any of these set variables. In a simple game, you probably don't run that much for loops each second, but when you're generating a map, that's where you have a lot of those for loops that you can make. Now, let's take a look at the numbers for C sharp for comparison. So at the very top, we have the for loop, and right there, if you compare those numbers, that's a pretty big difference. So let's get the calculator out again, 0.172 divided by 0.0003395. That's 500 times slower to run a for loop in Visual Scripting versus running in C Sharp. And for C Sharp, the number actually jumps around quite a bit, I guess based on what my computer is doing at the current moment, but that's the numbers you can get for that for loop. So looking down from the for loop, we have addition and there isn't much of a difference between just an empty for loop and addition. Same thing for multiplication. You can see the numbers are pretty close to just an empty for loop. So those operations are not taking that much time. Now we go on right here and we have parlay noise. For parlay noise, let's get out the calculator again and see what we have here. So that's 194 times slower. So this is actually closer to the number that we were seeing for the actual map generation. And that makes sense because the biggest separation that is done is actually parlay noise for each point. And because I use 3D parlay noise, I actually use six calculations of parlay noise per point. I could have just used a height map, but I actually wanted to run a 3D parlay noise to generate caves and stuff like that. And we can actually calculate how much parlay noise calculations we did for that map generation. So I have a 30 by 30 by 10 chunks. Then I had four chunks. So that was 36,000 points in that map. And if we calculate by six, that's the amount of parlay noise calculations I did per point we're coming out to have 216,000 operations of parlay noise that we did for that map. Now I get almost 1.5 seconds per 100,000. So to get 200,000 points, it would take three seconds out of the eight seconds that it took to generate that map with visual scripting. So we still have five seconds that were used up by other things that I had to do as well. And in the operation of generating parlay noise, I also had to set a lot of variables and add variables to the list. There was also if statements involved there. So if you add all of that, it comes out to be those eight seconds that we saw for generating that map. Now let's continue down the list. The random generation is twice faster than the parlay noise in C sharp and the set graph variables and set object variables. So this is local variables and global variables in a C sharp. They take about the same time as actually just running a for loop. Adding a list item and setting a list item actually is a little bit slower, takes twice more time than just running a for loop. And setting array, I couldn't get a very constant reading on it. Sometimes it jumps up higher than actually setting a list. Sometimes it's lower than setting a list. So I'm not really sure what causes that, but there is an inconsistent in the set array calculation that I did. The if statements are about the same as the for loop and the call to C sharp. Well, that's just, uh, I guess, a for loop in C sharp. So looking at all of these numbers right here, you can see where visual scripting is struggling. If you're trying to do a lot of calculations and a lot of operations, uh, big for loops and stuff like that, you won't be able to do as much with visual scripting as C sharp. Chunk generation with visual scripting is one of video requests that I get. And right here, 
you can see a big reason why you wouldn't want to do that with visual scripting. So for generating maps and stuff like that, you want to go with C sharp. You'll be able to do a lot more with less time with it. And if you have to do it during a game when the game is actually running and you want to do it seamlessly, you'll have to use C sharp. Uh, it's going to be extremely hard to use visual scripting for that. But for things like character controls, for operations that you're not doing that often, you can actually use visual scripting. So that's a lot of numbers and a lot of um, data that I showed here. But hopefully that gives you a little bit more information about what you're working with, what's the performance of visual scripting, and maybe for the things you're trying to do, maybe visual scripting is not a solution for you and you need to maybe start looking at learning C sharp. If there is any of you that is actually interested in learning C sharp, let me know how I can help you guys with that. But like always, um, if you like the video, click on the like buttons, leave your comments in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.